Namaskar to all the listeners from around the globe and a big thank you to all of you to tune into today's program of Khel Grahon Ka. I'm your host Mohit Shrimali. The topic for today's program is to dive into the world of astrology and understand from the point of view of an astrologer how the month of June 2019 looks for each of the zodiacs. What is to be expected? Where great precaution is to be practiced? What days are going to be fruitful and which days in particular are the ones where you may suffer from health problems or problems relating to your work environment? After a detailed study on YouTube channel and programs relating to astrology, I have come up with a more detailed analysis of the month where we'll be talking about the dates and time from where changes should be expected. All this will be done by analyzing the natal moon's transition from first house to the 12th of the zodiac horoscope. Now be aware, all the discussion is based on Indian standard time, that is IST. And if you are from any other part of the globe, please carry please calibrate your clocks to IST for understanding the cause and effect of the month that we will be talking about during the program and make notes of the same in your time zone. Special mention on two dates this month, a World Environment Day that falls on 5th of June and International Day of Yoga that falls on 21st June. Without wasting any more time, let's dive right into it and explore what the month of June has in store for us. From 1st June onwards, the natal moon would transcend into the 7th house for all the Libras. This next 54 hours are marked for utmost positivity around you. unhindered progress and uninterrupted bundles of happiness this time period of natal moon's transition into the 7th house also signifies expansion of social circles or work circles especially in the direction of the opposite sex if you have been planning or desire to acquire a new asset rather that be a movable or immovable asset this particular time period is to act upon it and move forward and make favorable dealings This may also be a very good time to make short-term investments and accrue profits from it. This time period will boost your confidence and leave you feeling blissful. Natal moon's transition in the 8th house brings with it health problems, stress, anxiety, aggression, pointless disputes, depression, disagreement and accidents due to careless driving. Try to stay sober, hydrated and eat healthy and drive cautiously. If any conference in this particular time period is scheduled as example a teleconference a video conference or an urgent meeting try to stay calm and composed the mantra for this transition for you is to forgive and forget easily keep your calm and think thoroughly about any action and repercussions arising from those actions before speaking filter it in your brain so as it may convey what you desire and can't be misinterpreted in any way as soon as the natal moon transcends into the 9th house it would seem like the dark clouds won't leave your side constant self doubt and body pain specifically in hips thigh and leg region is foreseen a little ruffle with children is possible Speak to your children as if they are the wisest, kindest and most beautiful and magical humans on earth. But what they believe is what they become. Be careful of office politics and projects reaching deadline. Giving a small amount of time to the god will bring peace and prosperity. It calms you down and re-energizes you with new hope and clear vision. Possibly you may also get involved in some charity work. As soon as the natal moon transcends into the 10th house the feeling would be surreal new energy and feeling of being blessed like you could take over the world lately a promotion is due if so and you had been expecting one this is the time you may receive it but remember with promotion comes responsibility and authority use it carefully appreciations are in order from superiors and peers If you had been planning to set up your own business it is a good time to do so too thus due to the professional trips around the globe are also foreseen your little circle of most interested friends and family members are in full agreement with you and they stand by you this is a good period for wealth accumulation and rise in name and fame 
Natal moon in the 11th house from 8th June to 10th June. This period signifies coming over people or troubles or hindrances. This also means end to petty issues. Thus, all this is foreseen and foretold. Overall, this period foretells increase in income rather than be from the investments or sudden promotion. Accumulation of profits from other sources of income is also possible. Good company with family and friends tanking up on energy and collection of amounts loaned out to people or amounts stuck in process is also foreseen. Always remember, the credit to your success always goes to the people around you and to you in the last. An individual is evaluated by the company he keeps, his interests and the way he treats the less fortunate. Always remember to appreciate the woman in your life, rather that be your wife, mother, sister or a friend. On this note, let's move on to the 12th house. As soon as the natal moon transcends into the 12th house, it signifies losses and fluctuations in income. Therefore, you must have a tab on your expenses. Try to spend moderately, but remember to do so responsibly with your budget in mind. As this period suggests loss in income and investments, the natal moon in the 12th house also brings forth headache, fluctuations in finance, trouble in domestic life, and increase in stress due to the aforesaid situations. Try to be in your lane. Don't try any unethical move in business or in office. You may have to pay for it dearly. Try making out of this period as quietly and calmly as possible. Natal moon's transition in the first house depicts long travels, praises from peers, good health with overflow of abundance. The day or the coming period is marked for family and kids altogether. A reward if you say for the hard work you put in the previous days. For all my friends in corporate sectors in sales or marketing, target meetings and performance reviews are going to be a breeze. You are going to be appreciated for your work. This is a good day to plan your investments and move forward. Especially for those who are planning to restructure the investment portfolios, this is a really great time. Even if experimental restructuring, that is, for a short period of time, if you are planning to do so, just move ahead and do that. For couples, this is a really good time to rejuvenate and relax and enjoy each other's company. Brace yourself for a short day of leg pulling, humiliation and non-cooperation from peers. After all, in the previous transition, you were deemed one of the best performers. However, a few keen eyes didn't take it so well. But always remember, it's just a phase with no time it will pass. Even impossible says I am possible. Today what seems unattainable, tomorrow will be achievable. Be aware, worries will surround you regarding the future course of action. Refrain yourself from arguments or fights as it will cause domestic disturbances. Try having a good night's sleep. Tomorrow is a new day, a whole new beginning, and you can't imagine the way that it will turn up for you. For those who work in silence, their success speaks for itself. In today's day and age of accumulation of materialistic things to boost one's status, even at the cost of taking up financial help from financial institutions is a big mistake many make. For you though, this period of transition is all about success, achievements, happiness, positivity and great energy. A sound sleep relaxes you to take on the day with stride. With great confidence and head held high, you could close deals, achieve targets. This day will be full of energy. Your siblings, friends and relatives will be in full support of you and your decisions. Domestic disturbances will also fade. Your attempts toward your goal will seem sure-footed and attainable. Try giving your partner a little relief. Cook for them, go out to dinner or simply walk and have a great chat. Your happiness and energy needs to be shared with people around you. Natal moon in the fourth house hinders progress. For all my enthusiastic drivers and riders, you must specifically practice caution as damages are prone to happen in this period. However, I would suggest you to be on the cautious side of things for now. This period could cause anxiety, panic and restlessness. 
For people suffering from health issues, there may be a surge in blood pressure and spike in stress levels. Relatives from the maternal side can cause trouble or disturbance in your household. Rather, distance yourself from any disturbance and try making out of the period. Take special care of health, especially chest and digestive tracts. Play cautiously with money. Restrain yourself from pulling out or making investments in this period. Natal Moon's transition in the 5th house. The problem arising from the previous transition can still continue in this period. Take special care before it gets to a stage where treatment is unavoidable. You will feel demotivated and unappreciated. We speak about feelings as Natal Moon's transition to a very large extent tells us about the feelings of its native. The moon can also be held responsible for decision making. Remember, this is not going to last. For every individual, it is a very tough thing to match others' expectations and how they should be. Remember, try putting your best foot forward and not get agitated by constant questioning. Better to take a step back in this period and reevaluate the scenario and your plan of action. But also, account for other unforeseen variables in your plan of action and then reevaluate. Remember the investments that you did. Check on them timely. This is the right time to reinvest and reap what you have sowed. Health-wise, your trajectory has shown major fluxes from past few days. Thus, a recovery period is ahead. And special care is to be taken. However, the natal moon in the 6th house from the native's house exhibits progress and good health. Financial gains, jovial moments and rekindled spark in life. However, caution must be taken when getting involved with the opposite sex as for any troubles. Overall, this is a really good time to enjoy with your partner financial gains, health recovery and success.